Hey everyone, in this video I'll be unboxing the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I pre-ordered this from Apple.com and this was priced around 2100 Australian dollars. So I pre-ordered this on the day that they uh, the next day after the they announced the event. And today is the 16th of September, which is the iPhone launch date. So let's go ahead and unbox it in this video. So as you can see we have a pull tab here, so let's go ahead and pull it. So as you can see I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max in the 256GB model. This is the space black version. So before we open the box, let's just take a look around. So we have the picture of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And this year they have a white colored box instead of the black colored box. On the side, iPhone, Apple logo, iPhone, Apple logo. And on the back here, we just have some information so as you can see I have included in the box is the iPhone 14 Pro Max USB-C to lightning cable and power adapter and headphones are sold separately so we have these two pull tabs here so let's go ahead and pull them open So here is the iPhone, let's just lift it open. So we're going to set that to the side. So inside we have the lightning to USB-C cable. And here we have designed by Apple in California. Inside we have the SIM ejection tool, um, iPhone, or a whole bunch of information in different languages. and one Apple sticker. So unfortunately just like the other previous years you do not get headphones or a power brick and if you do want to get that you need to buy it separately. So before I peel up this sticker as you can see we have the control so we have the ringer switch volume up and down the power button and at the bottom we have the lightning port Let's go ahead and peel this open. And there is the iPhone. So just taking a look around the design, as you can see we have the um, iPhone. Now I don't know if you can really really see, it's very hard to show it on camera but as you can see we have our Face ID sensor and our camera which are both separate. Here is the display. As you can see on this side we have our uh, ringer switch, our volume up and down. And with my version it comes with the SIM uh, slot. But if you do get the US version it does not come with that as they do encourage um, or they're trying to make it all eSIM in the US. So in Australia you still get the, um, the SIM card slot. On the bottom we have our speakers, microphone, and a lightning port. And on this side we have our power button. And nothing on the top, just one of the antenna brakes. On the front we have our um, earpiece, our face ID sensor, and the front facing camera. And on the back we have our triple camera setup. So we have our 48 megapixel camera, our ultra wide camera and our telephoto cam uh, camera. We also have a new flash design, the lidar sensor and microphone. As you can see I have the space black version so it is a lot darker. Um, 
it still kind of has a gray a gray finish, almost like a very very dark gray finish. But it is a lot darker compared to last year's iPhone Pros. And especially if you look on the side, it is basically all black. And so the the border around the iPhone has a stainless steel finish. So it does look very, very shiny. But because it's so shiny and because the design is a stainless steel, it can attract a lot of fingerprints. So let's just turn on the iPhone 14. Alright, so hello, so let's quickly set this up. So we're going to swipe up to open. So in English, Australia. Uh, we'll just set up manually. We're going to hit continue. We're going to set up a set face ID up later, but I will make a passcode. We're just going to skip that for now. All right, I'm going to quickly sign in with my Apple ID. All right, so we're just going to enable location services. I'm going to set it up later. We'll just set up all this later. Set it up later. We'll set it up later. We'll just share with Apple. Why not? Uh, we'll just keep it on lights. Standard. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. And there we have it. So, our iPhone is all set up. First of all, we're going to go into the battery settings and turn that on. Because, what we're going to do is I'm going to test out the battery and see how good the battery is throughout this video while I'll do my little first look at the, all the new features of the iPhone. So I'm going to install a couple of apps before we get started. So I'll be right back. So one of the new features that I want to talk about with the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the display. So as you can see, this has a 6.7 inch, um, they call it a Supra Retina XDR display. So it has a resolution of 2796 by 1290 with 460 pixels per inch. So this has a this uses the new ProMotion technology, which they call it. So it has an adaptive refresh rate going all the way from 1 hertz to 120 hertz, depending on what you are doing. This also has 1000 nits of max brightness. 1600 nits of peak brightness for HDR content and 2000 nits for peak brightness when viewing in outdoors. So as you can see, it is buttery smooth when you're doing uh, things, when you're interacting with the phone, you know, when you transition from, um, when you go into the, when you're scrolling or doing different things on your phone, it is using or utilizing the 120 Hertz display, which is fantastic. So another new feature that the iPhone 14 Pro Max has is the new A16 Bionic chip. So right now I have Geekbench open and I'm going to run a Geekbench. And while that's doing that, I'm just going to quickly tell you the specs of the Bionic chip. So it has a six core CPU with two performance cores and four efficiency cores. It also has a 5-core GPU and 16-core neural engine. So basically from the tests that people have been running and comparing to the previous iPhones last year, this is probably a 17% gain in both multi-core and single-core. We'll just quickly run a Geekbench just to see if that is true or not. So here are the final results for the Geekbench score. So we have 1877 for the single core and 5541 uh, for the multi-core score. So that's a pretty, you know, just a slight improvement from last year's score. So another new feature with the iPhone is the camera. So if I, as you can see, I've got the camera app open. So one of the new features is now the main camera is a 48 megapixel camera so it can shoot uh, 48 megapixels or you can do 12 megapixels um, if you want to. We also have uh, this 
a slightly improved 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. We have a improved 12 megapixel 3 times telephoto camera. And we also have a 2 times telephoto camera for photo and video. We've got the adaptive true tone flash, so we can turn the flash on or off. And apparently it is a lot better in certain conditions, depending on how far your subject is. We also have our action mode, so if we go into video, as you can see right here, this is our action mode, so you can turn that on and off, and it basically acts like a gimbal for your iPhone. So if you have a lot of things moving, you just basically you turn this on and it basically stabilizes your video. It's very similar to the super steady mode found on the Galaxy uh, phones, except this can record uh, 2.8K at 60 frames per second. And we also have our cinematic mode, which now can record 4K HDR at 24 or 30 frames per second. In terms of the front camera, we have a new and improved 12 megapixel front camera, which now features autofocus. So instead of having to tap to focus, it basically now has autofocus. Now in terms of battery life, the iPhone 14 Pro Max video playback battery life is up to 29 hours as Apple claims, and the audio playback is up to 95 hours. So I wanted a brand new software and as you can see at the top is the new Dynamic Island. So if you take a very very close look at the new Dynamic Island, it's basically this little interactive area depending on the apps um, you are using. So for example, so if I go into the stopwatch app, so sorry, if I go into the timer app and I start the timer and I exit out of this, as you can see, we have our timer displayed right into the dynamic island or basically the pill hole. The pill hole. So basically it's utilizing the pill hole to make it an interactive feature. So, um, and what you can do is if you long tap on this, it brings up this so you can pause it or exit out of it. And if you tap it once, it will send you back into the app. So it's pretty cool. So depending on what you use, what you're doing, like for example, if you're listening to music, or using uh, maps, or basically um, anything that um, is used in the background, it will go and display it up on the uh, dynamic island pill hole um, area. So it's pretty cool, and really nice way uh, to interact and utilize this pill shape cutout. Also one of the other features with the iPhone is the this always on display. So we, if we go into the display and brightness and as you can see on the bottom we have the always on settings. So if we lock the iPhone as you can see it goes it turns on the always on display. Now this is basically Apple's way of doing always on display. So as you can see it reveals the um, the date, the time, and it dims the wallpaper. So if I do tap on this, as you can see everything kind of brightens up and lights up. But if I close it, it transitions back to this dimmed wallpaper with our date and time. Also, uh, two new features that I would like to quickly explain, which are, but I cannot demonstrate, is the crack, crash detection. So if you're in a car crash, the, uh, and with the iPhone and the iPhone detects a car crash, it will trigger the SOS emergency and will call triple zero in Australia if you are in a vehicle crash. So that's pretty cool. We also have emergency SOS via satellite if there's no cell service um, or Wi-Fi. But this is only available in the US and Canada for two years. And I'm not sure if it's going to be available in Australia. And last of all, our final feature is iOS 16. So I'm not going to go through iOS 16, but basically it's um, running iOS 16 out of the box. So you get your new lock screen features, your new messages features, and all the other stuff included with iOS 16. So that's it. That's just a quick unboxing and first quick look at the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.